I really like nature-based solutions. So what I really was expecting from this course was for you to give me more ideas and more detailed information for how they are actually using and uh, doing this, implementing more of these nature-based solutions. So I think most of the um, thing I was expecting from this course has been accomplished until now. It was a nice experience and uh, I learned some new issues, especially in the coastal engineering. Even if some things were repeated, which I had because I come from a scientist background, some things were clarified better, maybe with the, especially with the ecosystem services, I got to understand them better. And I think it's a way forward to go. This is a very nice course. Uh, uh, we've learned a lot of concepts uh, concerning how to incorporate nature solutions, how to development, and we've learned so many tools which we can apply for flood management, for sanitation, and also for like drainage, like carbon drainage. And also we've learned to think uh, in terms of ecosystem services. Mm -hmm. And we uh, also learned of the, the wider concept of stakeholders and how to involve them in development. Of course we come from different backgrounds, so the course has been very instrumental in, in terms of teamwork. Um, well, I, I think it's very interesting in, your, in my, my area because there are many possibilities for floods, floods uh, prevention floods, management floods, mitigate, mitigation in, based on, on nature. And this course will provide us uh, well, uh, very, like, some, a lot of ideas on how this could be implemented on, on flat risk, but not only on this topic, also on some other, like the water, water resources management, uh, water treatment, and it's, it's been very interesting. It's very informative and helpful in helping me understanding the green infrastructure uh, and many other uh, new concepts like the PES and also the eco compensation mechanism uh, and also some new technologies like the PERs and uh, many others. Those will help me for my future uh, job in the Asian Union Bank to uh, develop some new features for the projects that I will be dealing with, uh, maybe the water resource management project. Mainly because we had the word nature it, so pretty much like that. I, I like it. Um, my expectations, I actually didn't have like any idea like we were where we we're going to dress so I was very open-minded when I came here and I started to learn all about these alternatives to address problems that we have been facing during the days but with a less um, I don't know a more friendly uh, um, approach so that's what I learned a lot of new techniques uh, of, of nature solutions I especially like the ones in urban cities we, we have a lecture about rain harvesting and strong water harvesting I love that because I'm going from a city that has a lot of problems so in that particular case I know I will try to apply some of those, those nature-based techniques into my, my own problems in my home country so I like that I love it Thank you. and to increase uh, social housing by 30% because we want to uh, improve the livelihoods of the people living in the slums and uh, for the environmental uh, category, we have uh, we, we want to improve all the the quality of the all the water bodies uh, in our environment to meet the standards, and also to provide safe drinking water to all of the population. The nature based solution is a priority to use them. For the onsite treatment, especially for tunnels, it can be difficult to implement the nature based solutions completely but we can incorporate them because especially for industries we know there is it's limited with space so we propose like the USB reactors whereby you can have some of the <coughs> engineered solutions but you can have a post treatment whereby we incorporate like the constructed wetlands to enhance the treatment. Our coastals 
and we assume that the, the, the transfer of sediment is from the, from the left to the right, so we propose to do it in this area, so if we protect the, the erosion here, it will not affect our port here. So our main purpose actually to build this corridor, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have even a gray construction. It can just be a wooden walking path, like, with a natural, uh, <laughs> like just a sand walk, a running path where people will be able to walk just right next to this, uh, this river and we'll have grass. Right next to the river you can have like a, a, a walking path where it will be even more nature, nature friendly. Mm -hmm. So it is occupied. People will not dare to build there because they know it's, 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 uh, it's local area, it's governmental area. We cannot, it's also nice. So we just go there for a walk. And so it's low traffic, yeah? No traffic. Mm -hmm.